Tad, it's Maximus here, this time with a little review of this DeWalt half-inch drive to quarter-inch hex impact adapter. This thing caught my eye because I thought it was uh, kind of interesting for DeWalt. And I have seen these things before. And this one actually looked pretty decent, so here it is. It actually is pretty thick. Looks pretty decently built, and that's exactly what this is for, is being able to drive quarter-inch hex bits with a full-size impact wrench. Come on. There we go. Oh, I see. It's a, actually a push-in quick insertion. I like that quite a bit. That makes it a lot easier. So you're only pulling the collar back just to be able to release the bit. Definitely feels like it's pretty solid. It is made in China, but, you know, at least the fit and finish is uh, pretty decent. It's a little sticky here. I bet just a little bit of oil would help that. Now we got it together. So they didn't flute the drive in, but uh, otherwise, you know, the fit and finish does seem pretty decent. Definitely pretty thick and heavy duty. Putting a drop of oil in there actually helped. Just dropping it in the top and letting it seep in helped quite a bit. The bits are actually much easier to insert than even it was before. And now this collar is super easy to pull back. So I like that design. Pretty easy to pull on and off. So these things are uh, pretty neat. I've actually only run into them a few times before. This is an old one off of like a Duro Fix. This is a you know little impact version. Um, and then for a while there, Pittsburgh had like a impact driver, hand impact driver that came with one of these Taiwanese ones. And I actually like this Pittsburgh because it would accept and lock in these double-ended bits, which tend to have really long noses on them, and almost no adapters will hold on to those. And, actually, let's see if the DeWalt will do that. It will relatively hold on to the bit because they use a kind of a semi-roller lock. There's a rod on a, that's held in by a taper. So, you can put this bit in, and it will keep it from falling out, but it, no, it won't actually lock in one of these uh, double-ended bits like this Pittsburgh big. So, that's kind of why I keep a hold of that Pittsburgh. So, these things can be handy in a variety of situations besides impact. Uh, if you have some really stuck on maybe brake caliper screws or something like that, this obviously allows you to now apply a half inch drive uh, tools to any quarter inch size bit. And so that's one of the reasons I like these. And it's actually, I like this DeWalt one a lot. The other thing is, is you can get these super long extensions. And so in many situations, this may be handy where you can put this on the end of, in this case, a 30 inch extension. You don't get a lot of twist. And now you have just supreme reach for maybe you're uninstalling something that's lighting overhead or something like that. And so just having some extra reach uh, would be handy for you. So that's kind of why I like these adapters. I think this thing was only like six bucks. It was actually surprisingly well priced uh, for one of these devices. And of course, the, you might say the elephant in the room. Of course, if you have some long timber lock screws or really dry lumber or something, this of course now... Uh, people complain about impact drivers and their power. Now you can use full-size half-inch drive impact wrenches to drive your bits. And there is no quarter-inch bit well, that will take the power of, you know, even this earthquake, much less a professional brand. As a matter of fact, let's drive a couple of deck screws. So we have our earthquake. It's not obviously not the best, but it's, you know, still a respectable amount of power for a half-inch impact wrench. And if you need to drive deck screws and Maybe your impact driver just isn't going fast enough. You can always do it like this. See, it won't even make it impact. And now you're driving deck screws pretty fast. Let's drive these just a little bit more to get it to impact. Oh, wow, yeah, that's uh, quite effective. Man, it's just sucking it right through there and getting them back out. definitely fast. So anyway, I actually kind of like that demonstration just because it shows that the springs and a full-size half-inch impact wrench will usually be stronger than what is necessary to drive a three-inch deck screw into some pretty dry uh, pine or Douglas fir, only starting to impact. So uh, in those situations, yeah, I mean, if you have some real hard materials or driving real long screws, um, then with a smaller impact, even though the, you know the smaller impacts really have a lot of power, they just are small, so they're just wailing away, impacting and impacting. Where in those type of situations, something heavier that just gets the faster in there much more quickly means time saved and actually less noise abuse. 
just because you're not sitting there letting a smaller impact just you know well away and so i kind of like the idea of these just for those types of reasons where you may want to go faster um have stuck fasteners oversized you know timber lock screws those types of things and of course hardwoods or other kind of tough situations where you're trying to work with screws and you have you know these high strength quarter inch drive bits but you just need to apply a little bit more power so the only other thing i would really suggest for dewalt is actually come out with a 3 8 version because they have some pretty powerful 3 8 impact wrenches and something like this would be uh pretty cool for that just to have a uh, you know a heavier duty impact rated adapter you know particularly for uh three eighths inch impacts but i think it's neat that they have it for half inch drive and particularly being able to use it with those really long extensions which are give you some good rigidity um can really add to the versatility and of course using a half inch extension is just a much more rigid and uh less wobbly because you can get them as one piece because you're not going to find you know 24 inch and 30 inch quarter inch hex extensions but you can find them in half inch drive so then it gives you uh just that extra bit of versatility so i always kind of like it when companies come out with uh little adapters like this because they're actually pretty rare the only other two that i've ever seen uh were this one pittsburgh which i don't think harbor freight sold for years and then this kind of oddball one so it's nice to uh see a new one in there and i like the fact that they did think about it and did give it the uh, uh quick change chuck so as far as a little accessory, actually, I think this little DeWalt thing is uh, pretty cool. And the fact that you can, you know, use it with ratchets or, of course, any type of impact, air impact or an electric. Uh, it just kind of allows you to take a collection of quarter inch bits and, you know, a bunch of half inch drive tools and just increase versatility. And they didn't do a bad job manufacturing. The knurling's pretty good. It has like these horizontal lines just to give you a little bit of extra grip on the top, which I actually do think is pretty wise. And uh, I was a little concerned about this plastic collar, but I actually think it's there for, just to act as a bit of uh, a dampening so this collar won't rattle around. And uh, the overall quality is just fine for what they're charging for it. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do and don't hesitate to leave any comments either i really enjoy them until next time catus maximus out